We have eight call instructions. This is the unconditional call with the opcode of CD. And these are seven conditional calls with this opcode. Obviously, we have three bits which would cover each one of these different states. Now we want to explain how this call ADDR works in memory. Let's say this is our memory here and we have the value of 11001101 in the address 1000 in memory in the addresses are in hex and the value of pc is the same thing 1000 in hex or these 16 bits in the binary so obviously the first thing that would be done is that a memory fetch it would take place causing the 11001101 or CD to be brought up inside the IR register to be decoded. And you know, even though we haven't explained all the details of how fetch machine cycle would take place, uh, it would be like this. By now you know that the PC would put its value on the address bus and they would tell the memory to put its value on the data bus or the contents in the memory cell that has been selected would be put on the uh, data bus the 8 bit of data bus that is multiplexed and as i said all these details would be explained later and the cpu would read this value inside the ir register now it's time this first uh, machine cycle we call it a fetch machine cycle obviously now we know that call addr and one thing that i wanted to I wanted to tell you is that the computer has been built has been built up abstractions upon abstractions and obviously the best way that you need to understand it is the same way to learn it uh, one step at a time just abstraction upon abstraction so here if we have call ADDR we know that call ADDR is two, two operations one of them is push PC and the other one is jump ADDR. So the first thing that the CPU needs to do is to push the value of the PC and we know when the, the contents in this memory cell is brought inside the CPU, the CPU would understand that this is actually a 3 byte instruction, therefore the value of the PC would be incremented to point to the next instruction. So the address would be 1003. Therefore this address, the address of the next instruction, should be pushed onto the stack as you see every hexadecimal digit is four bits therefore this is 16 bits or two bytes one zero is the higher byte and zero three is the lower byte this should be pushed onto the pc but what is push the push again is of smaller operations one of them is sp that should be decremented by one then a value should be put uh, either the lower byte or higher byte should be put uh, or pushed onto the stack or whatever sp is pointing to then sp would be decremented again and another value would be put inside whatever sp is pointing to now whether it's lower byte or higher byte you should go with the same rule that we've been talking about lower byte lower address higher byte higher address therefore if this is getting incremented, this is getting decremented, it means that this would be whatever address this is, it is actually the higher address. So 10 should come here and 03 should go here because right now look at the SP. SP is pointing to F057, meaning F057 would be decremented. So the value would be F0. 5, 6. This value would be put on the address bus. F056 would be selected. The higher byte would be put here. So we have 10 in hex or 0001000 in the binary. Then SP would be decremented again. Now we have F055 and the lower byte or 03 would be pushed here. So we would have. 0, 0,3 or 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
uh, the logic that how how should I put the 1003 on the stack or all of these things the only logic is that lower by lower address higher by higher address now obviously a stack is pointing to f055 and we are at the end of this push instruction so a stack is now the 50 let me just wipe this out so it would be 5055 and the binary obviously the last one would be uh, 5 which is 0101 next instruction this next, next operation is jump addr addr is the argument of call which comes after the call opcode the call opcode was cd the next two bytes would be the address now we know addresses are 16 bytes or 2 bytes what is lower, the lower byte what is the higher byte the same logic lower byte lower address 1001 is smaller than 1002 so whatever is saved at 1001 would be the lower byte it is f5 so f5 would be the lower byte and a0 would be the higher byte it's like this now so far we've done the fetch machine cycle and we've done two writes one write would was the one zero the other was zero three you see when this from the cpu to memory it's memory write so one fetch one write and another write now we want to do the read first we want to read this value now the value should be would be read actually in the temporary registers first so that we could do the read and the value of the PC wouldn't change and then the value of WZ uh, regist temporary registers which are not accessible by the programmer would be put on the PC so this value the lower byte the F5 would be read inside the Z register so we have a read machine cycle and then we have the A0 in W and F5 would be read here and A0 here as the lower byte and higher byte of the PC. So we would have 1010000000111000101. This is the A0F5. So this the current instruction has been completed with fetch WWRR. The current instruction has been executed completely. So this value would be put on the address bus as the CPU doesn't understand or is not smart. It's just inside a loop. A0F7. This memory cell would be selected. Whatever instruction we have here would be brought inside the IR and the same thing would go on. This was how call would get executed. But what about other instruction? Where C and Z, CZ, C and C, 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 CPO, CP and CM are exactly like... Uh, like these two that um, uh, explained about the jumping instruction so here instead of jump ADDR it would be J N Z ADDR for the C N Z ADDR for C Z it would be again push PC and then jump Z ADDR exactly like before what is jump Z we, uh, explained it in the previous modules we said it checks the zero flag if zero flag is set which means that uh, the result of the previous operation or the of the current operation was actually equal to zero that's why the z flag is equal to one explain all about these things therefore the jump would be would happen and this value would be uh, would jump to the addr we explained about all of these things and obviously you know that these calls are not conditional or unconditional as i said again if you want to look at it in abstraction way this is exactly like this you don't need to know any new thing call is these two operations and jump all of these would be the corresponding jump operation